Hey guys, Wayne Sutton here at secondadam.com, coachingwithwayne.com. I want to take just a moment and tell you two ways you can hear from God. See, one of the biggest questions we'll get is, how do I hear from God? And without going into the whole understanding of being a son or daughter of God, without going into your identity, without going into a lot of teaching on theology and uh, the prophetic movement and actually talking about the gifts of prophecy, the office of a prophet, all of that, how do you, you're a child of God, if you're a child of God, you hear his voice. He said, my sheep hear my voice. So if you're not a believer, it's not guaranteed. But if you're a believer, it is the word of God. It's a promise that you hear his voice. But how do you listen? Well, how do you hear, should I say? Number one is active listening. Active listening is probably, hopefully, what you're doing now. You're listening to me. You're watching. You're listening. You're gaining information. You're going, hey, is this something that is of value? And you're, and you're, you're focused in. That means you lay aside other distractions. You lay aside even your thoughts or even your reactions. It's not trying to come up with a reaction. It's listening. Active listening, number one. And so as you say, God, I need to know about this. Maybe it's about my marriage. Maybe it's about my business. Maybe it's about my, my walk with you, God. Whatever it is. This is what I need to know, and that's active listening. So you talk, you ask, and you listen. The second, and listen, for me, the second is probably the most profound. Listen actively, and he speaks a still small voice, an impression, audible voice. That's all great. But most of the time, you're going to find is through passive listening. That means as you go, he, he implants thoughts in your mind. You begin to see something from a different point of view. Somebody says something, you read something, it's just a confirmation. It's like that something's highlighted, spotlights on it. And you go, wow, that that's just confirms what I've been thinking, what I've been praying about. And for many times, it's a question. You don't get back an answer. Many times you'll get another question that will lead you. See, he will seal up the matter. He'll seal up the secrets for you to seek. And sometimes he'll even give you the questions. You start thinking about things. Why am I thinking about this? Why is this important to me? I've never thought about this before. And as you go actively listening to passively listening, you begin getting, I call them clues, prophetic clues, God winks. It's just God's love here and here and here. And you start putting them together and all of a sudden you have revelation. So how do we listen to God? We listen actively. God, I need to know about this. And we listen. We listen for his voice. And then we do it passively. That means we go throughout our day, whatever we're doing. And through our week, through our month, through our year, doesn't mean he's going to give you the answer instantly. And you look for the clues, you look for the highlights, you look for the people he brings in your life, the people he takes out of your life. What is he speaking? What words, word phrases, impressions, gut feelings are you receiving? And how do they line up? What's the pattern? This is why journaling is very important. Taking notes, why masterminding with other people that are moving in the kingdom of God is extremely important. So, what is God speaking into your life? How do you listen? You listen actively because, wow, what a great... You ask God, He gives you an answer. Perfect. And then you listen passively because that is how He forms you, I believe, even as He forms while He gives the answer. This is Wayne Sutton, thesecondadam.com. Go to thesecondadam.com. Sign up for our newsletter. You can also go to yourprophecynews.com and coachingwithwayne.com and see what free resources we have for you. See what information we have for you. I look forward to hearing from you again. God bless.